It's Mark here again. So this I've been meaning to do this video for quite a long time because um, I received this email from Peloton. What it was was uh, you know kind of like, hey, this is what you did this year. And so then they have this website that you can go to. So this is actually you know my login uh, information. So my my uh, Peloton uh, username is War Eagle. Uh, yeah, I went to Auburn. And uh, but I don't take it too 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 seriously. So anyway, it's kind of cool because this is the 2016 year in review. So I took 106, 107 rides, rode for 61 hours total, logged 100 or 1,192 miles, and burned 57,735 calories. Now take that as a grain of sand, but hey, I'll, I'll take that. So in summary, this is what it is, and. Um, you know, here's the, you know, it started going to like some stats and metrics. It's kind of cool because, you know, I took a couple of 60-minute rides. Uh, this was my um, determined, I guess, not my output. Yeah, my total output. And on the days that it was done, uh, it gives you the idea of how long um, your, you know, how, which days were your favorite. And Tuesdays is really surprising because I did 22 rides on Tuesday. And that's really surprising because Tuesday is usually like my worst day at work. So, I don't know, maybe I was coming home from from uh, work um, and just frustrated and wanted to go ahead and uh, knock that out. So uh, anyway, it's kind of cool. Now, um, one of the things I haven't really got into, which uh, somebody brought up um, in my last uh, video post or a couple of them, it was like, man, just post something on the, you know, a total review of the system or of the bike. And I, I kind of agree with them. So that's going to be coming. I've got that. Got that kind of uh, coming out there, and, it, and it's going to be one of those things that's either going to be, re instead of more review, it's going to be kind of more of an overview. And by review, I mean, I'm going to recommend the bike to anybody. It's 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 been a great thing for me and everything else. So, uh, But one of the things is that you have the, the choice between a live ride or an on-demand ride. And the difference is, is that on-demand is taken at the same time as everybody in the studio. And to me, the only real difference is that the instructor has the ability to call you out. Now, the, the instructor just sees the list of people that are taking the live ride. Uh, they're, not, um, they're not seeing, you know, your stats or, well, they might actually be able to see your stats, but they're not able to control your stats, let's put it that way. So, uh, but, I mean, when you're talking, a lot, most of the live rides, um, you're in there with, you know, 100 other, or anywhere from 100 to, I've had up to 400 people in a, in a single ride. So they're not able to really pay much attention, you know, because they've got to keep the flow of the, of the classes going and everything. Now, uh, the other thing I'm going to be getting into is the, the number, is the coaches. You know, these are the top three right here, Steve Little, Alex Troussant, and uh, Hannah Marie Corbin. Um, I love Steve. Steve is very technical on his rides. He's got these endurance rides that, um, I mean, you stay seated the entire time, and my, my gosh, you're, you're your your lit your legs are really literally crying, uh, but you're never going to hit an output uh, personal record or anything like that. So uh, there's also different kinds of rides that I'm going to go into in this overview because they only list three here, but there's plenty of other ones. There's scenic rides and, and everything else. So, but I just thought it's kind of interesting because it does give you kind of a breakdown, and, and this is something that I've been thinking about getting. You know, like hey, I'd love to be able to pull that information from all my rides and you know export it to an excel spreadsheet and here it is peloton did it for me uh this is the you know kind of a great thing too because you know 20 minute rides some people can want to sit there and say like you know those probably shouldn't count towards the 100 rides and whatever uh, you know what there's some merit to that but you know what if you get 20 minutes you only get 20 minutes to get get something done it's better than nothing that's for sure um so then they give you the summary there now, here's what I think is really interesting is that, you know, they give you the stats from the entire Peloton. I guess that'd be a good way to say it, too, because, you know, you think about what a Peloton really is. It's the big mass of riders in a, in a road race, uh, if you ever watch the Tour de France. And so this is, you know, they compile, like, how many years? And, and I believe the stat that I saw from Peloton is that um, they have over 20,000 bikes out there. And they're expected by the end of 2017 to have 60,000. So they've got huge growth goals and potential. So, um, and uh, one of the big things they did to just come out is that uh, the 
CES, Computer Electronic, or Consumer Electronic, um, I don't know what the S is. Um, they actually just released a uh, commercial version of the bike. So they're looking to sell that to um, hotels and gyms uh, around the nation. So this, you know, this is just going to get bigger and bigger. So, uh, but I mean, you think about it, 219 years total that people have spent just in 2016, 31.6 million rides and 1.4 billion calories. I mean, that's a lot of uh, cheeseburgers and everything. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, this is just one of my videos. Just, I just wanted to go over that, you know, these are the achievements that I've done in this, this, uh, this year, or at least 2016. So, you know, with the other goals I have for 2017, I'm looking forward to even seeing more.